Thank you for joining us today in creating another one of our ideas that we wanted to 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 see. Um, in real time or <laughs> we wanted to create wanted to create a reflection if you can see here there's a reflection going on uh, to just to create um, <clears throat> nice image images for social media you know uh, so today we are concentrating on creating a reflection in in Campbell and if you notice how this looks as though the burger and the juice and the Pepsi I'm thinking that is Pepsi or Coca-Cola is resting on a, a glass table so I'm gonna show you how I did it let's just get started uh, create all right I've uploaded the image already and here they are uh, I'm gonna sh show you why I chose a black background so remember as you're creating and if things not working just tweak it change it up a little bit and until you get the desired look that you want so let's change this to a white background this is here because of the lots of artwork that I've done so far in here. So that is why all of these are here. This is so awesome in Canva. But let's get back to this. So we're changing this to white. And then for the upload, I'm going to place my items here. And this is the problem. Because this, you can't have a reflection and a and um, a shadow and I'm going to show you why we're going to do this and then we're going to flip it 180 degrees for the reflection and I'm going to show you it's not going to look nice this needs to flip therefore it's creating a mirror of the of the image above so even if I carry the thing real close up even if I do that and then lower the opacity on the image it really why is this not looking exactly 78 80 degrees it's just not looking right because of the because of the of the um, shadow however if it was just this and we make a copy flip it 180 degrees let's get to 180 degrees all right, nicely we could even put the mugs together lower the opacity lower the opacity and then it looks as though there is a glass All right but that's not it would look better if there's a smidge of a uh, space between the the images the other thing is let's move both of them it would look more realistic if you're not able to see the water splashing because that camera would have to be so good to um, catch the reflection of the water splashing I think it probably it is possible but let's just work with this for now it might be possible technology changes every day so we're not going to be doing that we're just going to delete this change the background to black 
because that will create a better look. Notice how beautiful. And then um, seeing that this turns out so nicely, I think I want to, I think I want to, it needs to be just a little bit bigger to look, to give it that real, 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 real effect. There you go. So we are going to reflect this. And we're making a copy, but let's work with the right size. Let's try to get the burger the right size first. Um, and this is me putting the burger behind the cup. Or I could put it, position it forward let's let's put it forward let's give this a little bit of space it looks okay and then we're gonna copy this these lines are so helpful to keep all the elements nice and properly aligned so now we're going to reflect the image 180 degrees and for this to create to be a mirror image of the other we need to flip we need to flip it horizontally and then the opacity on this is 16 so let's take this down to 16 as well 16 percent 16 is a percent 16 degrees 16 to 16 and now what we have is the reflection <clears throat> but since we're creating an Instagram post, let's just add text. Text. There are so many lessons, um, and this these are for beginners because I thought I was awesome, and I've seen some guys do some things in Canva. I'm still learning. I'm still learning, guys. So if you are just learning. Don't worry about it. You catch up real quick, and depending on your interests, you catch up even faster. So let's just say, yes. There are times when you want to define a font, and you want to just copy the font without having to remember. I mean, it's right here, and once you click on it, you can find it. But to save time, to move quicker, quicker. The best thing to do to copy the text or to copy anything is there is a button over here I think I'm wondering how can I move my recording um, thingy is right over here you might see me clicking the screen but the, my recording icon is Let's see how I can get it to to move. There we go. I move it all the way down here. Now I can see behind here properly. Um, what was I saying? So to copy, this is what copy style. So we just say copy style. So if I move this, there should be another one. Really? Come again. Copy style. I've never used this before. Let's back up. Click three times. Nope. I don't know what that this does. I don't know how to use it yet. <laughs> this is amazing. Paste. Oh, and now I can paste. So if I do this, 
I don't understand. Okay, let's do it again. Let's say copy style and then paste style. So if I move this, it's supposed to be two. I don't get it. You see? You don't know something once. Are you serious? No, I'm, I'm, I'm really, guys, I'm really learning this as we, there's always something, this has been here for a while, but I, I, I don't use it. I have a nice little shortcut. Okay, so let's click on it again, because I'm so curious. Copy style. Right? And then paste style. Right? No? <laughs> Okay, um, highlight, copy style, right, and then, here it is, and we say, it was paste, oh lord, I don't know. Anyway, this is a shortcut. You press Alt, and when you see the the, the arrow with the four directions, you just drag. It's as easy as that. Or it's Control C, Control B. But this one works nicer because then let me show you again. Undo. If you want to line up something a particular way, let's say you want the distance between the thing you want to know what the distance is that you have and you want it to be uniform, then as you can see there, this, this 23, 23 whatever that is, is pixels, this is pixel, so it's going to be 23 pixels I think, or the distance is 23, just remember that 23 is what you see here. So if you wanted to, let's say, copy this way and you wanted to create that kind of look where the distance is it lines up 23. I know we have it equal distance apart. 23 between here, 23 between here. But that's going away from what I wanted to do. So let's just delete one. And this is a guess. And we're going to say guess the burger. I kind of did this already. So, don't worry about how untidy it looks right now, believe you me, we get our things together nicely. Okay, so for these two, I'm changing the font together because I know that I want them to be a particular thing and this is yellow tail and that's exactly how I want them, this kind of lineup. And then for this, I want my burger to be huge. Let's take out some of the space in here. No, it is properly centered, but we want this burger to be big, huge, right? Before we do that, um, let's put these elements together. Let's group them and uh, that way we can just move everything together as we're well, like, trying to um, create the the artwork and we want it to look nicely so when we're moving it we don't we have to move one item at a time we want to move all of them so I think this is okay I think this is okay now if I position this backwards one more time. Oh, it does go behind the burger already. Then it has that look. And 
Am I trying to do that? I don't know. Let's line this up a little. Centered. Let's take this down a notch and just have the splash over the burger. And voila! The other thing I'd like to do is to draw attention to pull person's attention as much as it's it's on the burger but we want to draw it to the word burger let's put a question here because we're saying guess guess this burger so let's do that it is aligned probably I want it a little hmm. come on And that's what we're saying. This is this is what we're saying. So as I let's see if I take this down a little bit, what would it do? It would look nicer. All right. Um, and just make this a little bit smaller, and then make it centered again. The solid line is is the once it hits solid you see how the spots are where the the impression it's it's the impression that you're trying to create as opposed to having it exactly centered for me for me that is but uh, the next thing I want to do is add some elements and I'm gonna add this line just to pull person's attention to the burger all by itself because right now the focal point is the burger and the drink and I want to pull the attention to the word burger now we're gonna choose some colors and I'm choosing colors from here this one and then choose this how does that go no let's choose mm -hmm. I think I'll choose this warm color it's it's gradient kind of a look so uh, nice right I think that's perfect so let's push it backwards one more time and there it is and then we're gonna copy this image just drag it all the way over to the other side line up perfectly and there it is this is exactly how you create a, a reflection and make a statement at the same time I would have preferred this bit a little bit higher just a little bit higher there it is if you like this video please uh, actually click like on it <laughs> comment we would love your comment let us know if if this was something that you'd like to do and do more of our designs uh, the other thing is if you you know your friends that want to join this group to learn more and for us to be creative together then uh, feel free to invite your friends to join the group it's a private group so they can't search and find it you won't be able to search and find it you'd have to be invited to the group by sharing a link and I've shared the link with uh, those of you who came on while it was private so 
there you go anybody want to invite somebody send me a message I'll just get them jumping so thanks again this is the VA agency product productivity work mm, that's all right yep uh, the VA agency is also a subdivision of service up 21 and at service up 21 we we do awesome work for our clients so let's get started create you do your work create something create and share it in this group let's see let's see what you can do as you never know let's challenge yourselves let's challenge ourselves to be greater than we are today peace out